Well, hello, ladies and gents. Looks like you made it to the right spot. Hello, hello to everybody out there. D. Sean here. Uh, your host is going to guide you through, well, who wants to be a millionaire trivia. Trivia that uh, has been seen in more than 130 countries is not stopping anytime soon. Hello to those of you that are joining already second time this eve. Yes, of course, ladies and gents, keep your eyes and ears peeled as there will be more trivias coming up. But regarding this one, 15 uh, questions, well, statements, or and four possible answers. You'll need to navigate through everything from A to Z, so answering everything correctly. If you manage to get everything right, you get a prize pool. $1,500 in cash and har well, free spins shared across all the winners out there. And in order to help you along the way, there's also two lifelines. 50-50, removing two of the answers, leaving only you with two possible, where one is the right one, one is the wrong one. And of course, one of the best lifelines ever, as the audience, where you can see what other people are hedging their bets upon and then decide to either join the crowd or take your own way. With that being said, I will remind you a couple of times regarding those lifelines as you do not get extra points if you finish with them being in your hand. So, ladies and gentlemen, light show goes off, meaning last seconds remaining. Hopefully you have your thinking hats on. I'm good to go. Let's see if this trivia is, well, easy, difficult, and how it scales. So, best of luck. Let's begin with our first one. So as follows. In which medium does light travel fastest? Answer A for vacuum, B for water, C for air, or D for soil? Hmm. Well, I do believe one of these could be definitely immediately crossed out. So probably out of three options, you need to choose one. And I do believe this one should be fight quite, quite easy. Well then, the answer A for vacuum. Oh my days, ladies and gentlemen, seems like this one was a tough one. Air and water, yes, but there's particles and it does kind of slow it down. Vacuum, less particles, moves faster. Second one, which charges was ex-Italian leader Silvio Berlusconi convicted on in 2012? Answer A for tax evasion, B for forgery, C for kidnapping, or D for treason. So which charges ex-Italian leader Silvio? got pressed with on 2012 so more than 12 years ago my goodness gracious time flies tax evasion answer a ladies gents common seems like this one was easier than the first one but keep going and do not rush with the answers all right so which ship's mission was to boldly go where no man has ever gone before answer a for enterprise b for millennium falcon c for santa maria or d for titanic now, a ship's mission to go boldly where no man has ever gone before. Kind of legendary sentence over there. For those who know, you know. Well then, correct answer, A, for enterprise. To travel to places where humans have never gone before. It is what is there. Let's keep going. Fourth one. Deutschland is the local name for which European country? A for Germany, B for Spain, C for Portugal, or D for Norway. Now, for those that are Europeans, probably very quick and easy to answer this one. This should have perhaps been the first question in the whole thing. But, of course, intrigue. Let's get to the bottom. This correct answer for the fourth one is the answer A, I do believe, for Germany. Right. Well, seems like everybody got this one right. Too easy, right? But, well, there's still plenty of questions to go, so... Brace yourselves. Which country's royal house was the Palace of Versailles built for? Answer A for France, B for Germany, C for Thailand, or D for United Kingdom. So, Palace of Versailles, I do believe quite famous one. If you do like history, blatantly obvious. If you like medieval times, well, hopefully I didn't spill too much beans there. Correct answer, France. Congratulations. This one was almost as easy as the fourth one. And keep in mind, you still have lifelines, and we still have ten more questions to go through, ladies and gentlemen. So do use those lifelines when coming hands, and do not jump on the answers instinctively. Think about it a bit. So, sixth one. Which pizza might be listed on menu as prosciutto e fungi? A, spinach and egg. B, tomato and cheese. C, for ham and mushroom. Or D, for seafood. Hmm. So some kind of... Italian pizza with two elements. But what exactly is on top there for the pizza? Well, the correct answer for this one is the answer C. Ham and mushrooms. Well, fungi kind of makes sense. 
So that could be a giveaway if you like ham, prosciutto, also kind of straight away. Seventh one, which author wrote the old possum's book of practical cats? A for Edgar Allan Poe, B for Beatrix Potter, C for T.S. Eliot, or D for George Eliot? I haven't read this book there myself, no idea, but perhaps you do know. If not, there's those lifelines you can use, you know, keep in mind. So, halfway through, answer to the seventh one is the C, T.S. Eliot. Seems like this one was a little bit tougher out there, but well, we still have half of you remaining, but we're only half through, so let's go. Which painter's real name is Domenicos Etiotokopoulos? Answer A for Degas, answer B for Picasso, C for El Greco, or D for Matisse. And I do apologize for the pronunciation. Out of the blue, I would probably say that the person is Greek, just by the last name, but no clue regarding those painters and artists. Well then, C, El Greco. Tough question, tough question indeed, I won't lie. First time that I hear about this person, but apparently quite, quite famous. Ninth one, which artist is the most famous for a portrait of his mother? A, dancer, B, Byron, C, whistler, or D, singer? Looks like this one should be thematically named Louvre, perhaps. Art-related questions. Perhaps you know, if not, lifelines. Well then, correct answer for the ninth one is the answer C for whistler. Still moving, still moving, ladies and gents. We have still one-third of you remaining, but we still have six more left to go. Let's get it over. Tenth one. Which vegetable does Italian classic dish of melanza parmigiana use? Answer A, eggplant, B, for carrot, C, for tater, potato, or D, for spinach. So, classic dish, melanza parmigiana. Also not native Italian speaker, I pardon for the <laughs> pronunciation. But the correct answer for this question is the answer A for eggplant, which is actually hilarious history on how it was named. Check it out yourself later. The plant changes when it grows color-wise. Eleventh one. Let's keep going. So, which United States president had a yacht called Honey Fitz? A for Carter, B for Reagan, C for Roosevelt, or D for Kennedy? A little bit of history trip. Yacht called Honey Fitz. Cool name for Yacht though. But uh, getting more towards the right answer, well then, correct answer for the 11th one is the answer D for Kennedy. This one was a stumbling block for sure. Well, we still have four more to plow through, so if you still have those lifelines, do use them. Let's go. 12th. Which material are modern bucket hats traditionally made from? Acrylic, Canvas, linen, or nylon? So A for acrylic, B for canvas, C for linen, or D for nylon? Those bucket hats, perhaps when you're going to the beach or when you're going fishing, you could probably imagine how they look. But traditionally made from canvas. Canvas, ladies and gents. Tuffy as well, tuffy as well. My option probably would have gone with nylon, but that is more recent. Canvas is much, much more older. Thirteenth one, who mainly funds GPT-3 research? A. Mark Zuckerberg, B. Elon Musk, C. Jeff Bezos, or D. For Bill Gates. So GPT-3, also colloquially probably we know about chat GPT. Hopefully that rings a bell without spilling too many beans. Correct answer for the thirteenth one, ladies and gents, is the answer B for Elon Musk. He still holds a fair bit of shares in the company, although he has made statements that he wants to create his own way. Penultimate one. Let's get it. The symbol of which political belief is an uppercase of A in a circle? A for anarchism, B for democracy, C for fascism, or D for realism? So which of these has uppercase A in a circle? And sometimes even a fist in that circle as well. Well. Enough joking around. The correct answer for this one is the answer A, for anarchism. Uppercase A, ladies and gentlemen, kind of that giveaway. Well, final one, and you're the prize pool. Well, then let's get it over with and get to that prize pool. So good luck, and let's see what's in store. Fifteen question. Which singer appears in She-Hulk as a fictional version of herself? 
Answer A for Megan three uh, the stallion uh, Doja Cat Ariana Grande or D for Rihanna. So A for Megan, B for Doja, C for Ariana or D for Rihanna. I have no clue. Haven't seen the movie. The reviews were kind of subpar. I'm gonna stick with the older parts of the movies. A, Megan. Well, congratulations, congratulations. Out of close to 3,000 people, 543 of you have survived the gauntlet from A to Z. Congratulations, you bright heads out there, both ladies and gents. Compliments. You will get to share the prize pool of $1,500 across all the beautiful winners out there. And of course, right now, if you want to enjoy yourself, there should be a link sending you forwards to another game from the Millionaire Universe that you can check out. Seems like we have some winners nicely there. Hello. Well then, ladies and gents, one more thing to add. Do keep your eyes and ears peeled. There will be more of these trivias coming up. And I'll probably will join you and say hello tomorrow eve as well. But that's enough of spilling beans for the future days. Take care for now. Wish you best of luck out there in a rough week. And stay strong.